no matter how high you rise, you are not too far from going down. You can never rise so high that it becomes impossible to go down. In fact, the higher you rise, the more dangerous it is when you fall. If I fall from this speaker down, I may not injure myself. But if I fall from a plane, I may not live to tell the story. Are we together? So Haman, by himself, began to describe the process of his own defeat and failure. At the end of it, you would read that it was the same Haman that was hung on the gallows that he dug and built to kill Mordecai. Pride is dangerous, but humility is powerful. Let's define humility. What does it mean to be humble? Please write this down. Humility is not refusing. We have to clear the air now. Humility is not refusing to acknowledge that God has helped you. No. Humility is not refusing to enjoy the blessings and the honor that comes with your assignment or the grace that has been given to you. That is not humility. But this is humility. The public acknowledgement of God as the basis for your achievement the public acknowledgement of God as the basis for your results the basis for your achievement the wisdom to recognize and acknowledge this is humility that behind house on the rock 20 years Yes, there is a man who represents the leadership. But behind that man is a mighty God. Standing by him like a mighty terrible warrior. And granting him access to move forward. Men do not move forward just because they want to. There is a God that helps men. Are we together? Humility is the public acknowledgement of God. The God of the heavens. As the basis for everything we are and everything we have. So, when the grace of God and the glory of God begins to speak and manifest in and through your life. My message for you this morning is remember. Remember. You know why? It is harder to remember when you are distracted by your results. Results can be distracting. The applause of men, as sincere and well-meaning as it is, can be distracting. You have to create systems around your life that force you to remember. To remember the one who took me from the dunghill and now brought me before princes. To remember the one who gave me the leverage of his grace to rise and thrive and excel. To remember the one who kept me. Because except the Lord builds a house, the Bible says, the builders build but in vain. Except the Lord watches over the city, the watchmen watch it but in vain. He says, it is vain to wake up early and to sleep late at night, only to eat the bread of sorrow, but that he giveth his beloved sleep. Make up your mind from this morning, and let it be a foundational truth and a pillar in your life that no matter where you lift me, oh God, no matter what you do through me in ministry, in business, I will let the world know that you are the basis for my results. That when the spotlight is on you, you become and remain an usher that directs them to his majesty. Can I tell you this? If you make up your mind that your life would reveal the glory and the grace of God, then he will keep giving you the platform to reveal the glory and the grace of God. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, he says, I will draw all men to myself. So whilst we celebrate with Reverend Akila, his dear wife, and the leadership of House on the Rock, just a prayer for him and for everyone is that God will burn this message in his heart 
God will burn this message in the heart of the leadership and the membership that if there is anything worth celebrating, make sure that in all of the accolades and the acknowledgements, it ends with God, the King of kings and the helper of man, the one who can lift, the one who exalts. And to every man of God here, to everyone who has come to celebrate, it is an opportunity for you to search your own life and be very determined that for the rest of my life, my life will reflect the glory of God, but that whilst he celebrates me and lifts me and gives me a chance to represent him to the nations, I will remain humble. Humility comes from this revelation that without him, I can do nothing. Do not make the mistake of Haman. Embrace the wisdom of Mordecai. That after all of the celebrations, you still go back to your knees.